Hey, what's going on my dudes? Welcome to the video today. I want to make a quick video telling you how to find the best sensitivity specifically for aiming. I'm going to drop my complete Fortnite settings at the end of this video if you do want to check those out. But I wanted to make this video completely just focused around how to find that perfect sensitivity to dial in your aim. For this video, I want to talk about ADS aiming and uh, why it's important to find the right sensitivity for it. And also, a lot of people don't know this, but L2 spamming did get nerfed. It's actually no longer as effective to spam L2. It still works, it's still important in like, close to mid-range fight, but especially for beaming people at range, if you kind of start to over-spam too much, I find the mechanic kind of cools down. It also just doesn't rotate as far as it used to anyways. Uh, so having a good ADS sensitivity and being able to dial in on target is more important now than it's ever been really in Fortnite. Now the first thing you want to do in finding your perfect aiming down sight sensitivity is get very, very comfortable with your base sensitivity because the two are actually related. So basically you want to be aiming for somewhere I think in the current game if you play on controller between a 6 and an 8. If you look at a bunch of pros, everybody who plays on controller who's kind of at a pro level, very competitive player, plays somewhere between a 6 and an 8 sensitivity. Most of these players probably around like are probably about a 6.5 to a 7.5. That's where I see most pro players kind of falling into. And that gives you a good mix of being able to, you know, be consistent and stay on target while also getting really really good ability to kind of rotate in box fights, build quickly, defend yourself, overall be able to have like a reactive and like reactionary game style so that if somebody jumps in your box, you're not totally shagged. If you're playing on controller, you can turn around and return fire and do so consistently. Keep in mind, even though you're rocking maybe a lower sensitivity than a cracked out insane builder who's rocking like a 9 and a 10, you do have build sense and edit sense available to you. I know Wolfies, who's one of the top controller players in the world, he got second in the duos at World Cup, rocks a 7 sensitivity with a 2 build sense, just to give you an idea of like how far you can push it. This allows you to hit that peak building speed while also maintaining that strong controller aiming consistency. If you want to win more fights and win more games, consistency is absolutely key. Flick shots are amazing, but hitting your shots 9 times out of 10 is way more important, in my opinion. So once you're done finding your base sensitivity, then dialing in your aiming down sight sensitivity is incredibly important and the next thing you should be doing. So after reviewing kind of like the numbers of what pro controller players rock on average, the number of your ADS sensitivity should fall between a 0.23 and a 0.28 sensitivity. Mine's actually a little bit higher, I'll explain why that is. Well, that's actually not the number that you put in right here. What your aiming down sight sensitivity actually is, is a multiplication of this sensitivity with your base sensitivity. So just to give you guys an example, if you want to find Nick Mark's actual ADS sensitivity, we would add these two numbers together, find the average. So in this case, it's going to be 0 0.675 is going to be like his average base sensitivity. And then we're going to multiply that by his targeting sense, which is 0.4. So if we do that, 0.675 times 0.4, that's going to give us a 0.27 ADS sensitivity. So that's the actual number that, it, that, that Nick Merckx uses to aim down sights in game. Now that 0.23 to 0.28 range is amazing if you rock on console, but I actually have a little bit of an aiming secret, it's not really much of a secret, but I actually rock a much higher aim down sight sensitivity, I actually rock like a 0.35, um, and that's got to do with the fact that on PC gaming, it's much, much easier to tease out your shots. Again, if you play on console, the 0.238 to 0.28 aiming down sight rule is fantastic, and I would not advise going above that. But if you're playing PC with controller, I would advise maybe experimenting with a higher ADS sense because you get much, much more aim assist slowdown when you're playing on PC versus on console. So console will get this too, but basically if I'm inputting on my joystick the exact same amount, you get this huge stickiness as you get on target if you're playing on PC. And you get the same thing on console, but just not to the same extent. And if you're playing on a really, really high frame rate, it's much easier to control this and then fine-tune your shots. So I really like this for tracking people through the air. That way I can track quickly and then center right on a person and get beams in. But it's kind of more controversial. I like just doing it. I like playing this play style. I've always played with a fairly high aim down sight sensitivity back when I played Battlefield and COD. Uh, but it's totally up to you. Again, I don't think you can go wrong with the 0.238 to 0.28 rule. 
There's so many pros who use that, it's hard to argue otherwise, but I just want to give you guys my input on what I run, and why I run it, and why I wouldn't recommend it for console, but would recommend trying it if you are playing on PC. The last thing you, you gotta do, man, is make sure you go into uh, accessibility settings right here, and turn on foot controller, and set the dead zones and the throttle all the way down to .01. This basically... It's a glitch right now, I guess. It turns off your aim acceleration, which allows your aim to be more consistent. It's something to adjust to. I would try it. It might not be for everybody. Some people might play a lot of console games where they all have aim acceleration in them, and so you're so used to it that it feels right to you, and that's totally fine. But if you want to remove aim acceleration and make your aim more consistent... In that sense, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to link a full video explaining this concept down below if you guys want to check it out and get a better explanation. But turn this on and drop your dead zone and throttle down to 0 0.01. Goodbye to you. What they turn fatal into? A uh, floating island, dude. That was pretty smooth. Stop shooting my buddy. You good up there, dude? I'm coming back. He's good. Got him, coach! Hey, GG man. Hey, GG man. Holy balls, dude. Oh, GG! <laughs> Woo! He had no idea what the hell was just going on, dude. Yo, my dudes, hope you found the video helpful today. Uh, here are my settings, as promised, at the start of the video. Uh, let me slow down here on the sensitivity. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And don't forget to use code UPSHAL in the Fortnite item shop. It goes a long way to help me out, support my channel. Appreciate it. Now, one thing is, I do rock a slightly higher dead zone than some other players I've seen, but honestly don't really mind this. I still think it's a lot lower than a lot of other console games, uh, so I kind of I still dig it. 
You know, I, I do feel comfortable with this dead zone, but you can definitely go lower if you want to. And that's it, dude. Hope you guys have a great day, and uh, catch you guys in the next live stream on Twitch.